Hello, I'm Jay Ford. I'm going to review a salad dressing. Um, <clears throat> had some leftover salad from one of our dinners, and it's starting to brown a little bit. Um, it's not like real bad, but um, it's 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 close to the point where I mean, it's ready to be tossed out because it's no longer like totally you know, fresh. So I'm just kind of picking out some of the some of the bad pieces some of the dark you know the browner the brown pieces um but there's i mean there's enough left for me to review this salad dressing at least i can use up what what's left here and i have this one left that i've been trying to find an opportunity to review it and uh <clears throat> so i have enough left to do that that way I will accomplish that review. Caesar by Hidden Valley. Robusto Creamy Caesar. Got some Caesar dressing fans out there. Yeah, it looks good. Nice and creamy. It's got some herbs in there. <clears throat> Visible herbs. Get it all out here because um, I don't know when. We're gonna have you know salad again for dinner that I'd be able to use this up. So just gonna go ahead and use it up. That's a little salad. <clears throat> I do like bigger salads. You know, with tomatoes and um, sh you know shredded carrots i can't eat with my teeth situation i can't eat like like a carrot stick can't do that um <clears throat> but i can eat shredded carrots um tomatoes a little sprinkle of cheese on there um i like black olives i like green olives too um so when I make a salad, like let's just say we go to um, somewhere like a buffet type place that they have a, a big bowl of salad and they have all the little, you know, cups. To, they're not compotes, but they're, you know, they're little cylinder cups that have the different ingredients in there for building your own salad type thing. Um, I put, you know, all that stuff on there olives the cheese a little bit of cheese the the um uh, tomatoes little cherry tomatoes and uh <clears throat> croutons and some cauliflower broccoli um i like all that stuff so my salad is usually i mean it's <laughs> i need a plate just for it by itself it's been a long time since i've been to a buffet type place but Oh, that smells good. It has a... Almost a little ranch. A little ranch aroma. Maybe a little garlic. What has it got in here? Vinegar? Yeah, getting some vinegar. <clears throat> Romano cheese, no. Parmesan cheese? Yeah, I'm getting a little Parmesan in there. Milk, yeah. Some different spices, yeah. Mustard seed? 
Yeah, a little bit. Garlic and onion. I'm getting the garlic. Yeah, getting the onion. Natural flavors in there. Okay. Mm. Not good. I'm getting the vinegar. A light saltiness. Getting the milk cultures, you know. Parmesan, a little bit. Garlic and onion. Mustard seed. Still not really getting a big Romano cheese. Um. <clears throat> But everything else, I'm getting, it has a very light, you know, sweetness to it. But yeah, this is good. I like it. I really feel like I could live off salad if I wanted to. It would be easy. <clears throat> It'd be easy for me. I mean, eventually I'd want to try something else, but... I'm just saying, if I had to, I could do it. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, have to start investing in, in lettuce every time we go to uh, the store and try to have a salad with maybe almost every meal or something. I'm trying to get into the... the thought process of portioning out my food, smaller portions. Um, <clears throat> more, more fruits and vegetables as snacks instead of, you know, chips, um, <clears throat> cookies, you know. It's hard to do because you're you you're um, you're just nonchalant lifestyle where you don't think about so much about what you eat. You just eat it because you want it. It looks good. You just eat it. So you don't let your mind think about any kind of a consequence about what you eat, whether it you know. <clears throat> It's fattening or it could jack up your stomach or, you know, it's not good for your stomach. It might cause like a lot of acids or something. Um, if you have hidden ulcers, you know, which it's a possibility I could have, you know. So you just, you just, you just get into that thought pattern, you know, where you don't think about it. But I want to be more self-conscious about it now, you know, so... 
but like I said, that's hard to do. You gotta do a lot of self-discipline. <clears throat> a lot of, you know, personal goals to set and to accomplish. And, uh, and just uh, go for it. Don't just sit there idle and not do anything. That's what I'm trying to motivate myself to do. Um, some people that aren't used to that it takes a little bit longer. So um, that's what I'm doing. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Caesar dressing, not just Caesar dressing, robusto, creamy Caesar dressing. <clears throat> there you go it's good it, it actually has just like a little bit of a little bit of existing heat in there I don't know where that's coming from it, it didn't say anything I mean it says like natural flavors I think it has been into like a black a piece of black pepper I think there's black pepper in there but it doesn't say that that's where they can throw in things and just put spices, natural flavor. There it is. And they can just put in a big old regiment of, you know, different spices, you know, black and white pepper, um, you know, throw a little Parmesan in there just to add more flavors to it, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if Caesar is your favorite. And we will see you on the next one.